Hey, welcome back on this Tuesday morning. Keep the umbrella around for a couple of hours. We're not seeing widespread rain, but some areas are dealing with some scattered showers and a few isolated thunder showers as well. So if you're near the shorelines of Lake Superior and Lake Michigan, that's where we're mainly seeing some of those light rain showers. Now on the west end of the UP, just west of Gogibbet County over western Lake Superior, there's a nice little cluster of showers that'll be working into the west end of the UP later on throughout the morning. There's a cold front moving through. That's why we're seeing those rain showers, but high pressure will sink in for Tuesday, rather Wednesday and Thursday, and it's going to be really nice as that moves in. That means we're going to have some sunny and some dry weather for us. But right now, as I mentioned, some light rain showers on the eastern areas of the UP. So if you're right near Lake Superior, eastern Alger County through parts of Grand Marais, uh, seeing some more moderate to heavy rain right on the shoreline there uh, along M77 through McMillan through parts of Newberry, some very light rain showers also still passing through. Here's the hour by hour. A few of those rain showers still around around mid morning. This is 930 in the morning and even a few spotty rain showers on the east end of the UP this afternoon. Also going to be a breezy and a cooler day. The high pressure moves in. The cloud cover clears out overnight. Temperatures plunge. Plan on sunshine and dry weather for Wednesday and Thursday. Let's talk winds. I said it would be a cooler and a breezy day. Wind flow out of the north gusts of around 20 to 25 miles per hour for the bulk of the day. And then during the afternoon, we could have some gusts pushing near 30 miles per hour right near Lake Superior, extending into the evening hours. So with that being said, there is a beach hazard statement for Marquette as well as Alger counties. We are expecting with those stronger winds to have some larger waves and strong rip currents. That means that we will likely have some dangerous swimming conditions for the beaches of both Marquette and Alger counties. So aside from that, also going to be a cooler day. Most areas are in the 60s this morning, but we're expecting a bit of a drop off near Lake Superior to upper 50s towards the afternoon, lower to mid 60s in the south. Tonight with the clear skies, temperatures plunge. So tomorrow morning will be a chilly morning as many areas will be in the lower 40s as we kick off Wednesday morning and then highs will be in the 60s. We'll rebound Thursday and then all the way through early next week with the heat moving in. This is why here's the jet stream pattern on Friday. We are going to be on the cusp of the heat on Friday by Saturday. Big ridge of high pressure starts to move in with an unseasonably warm air mass. It's going to bring in the heat. It's also going to bring in the humidity for this weekend. So high temperatures this weekend will be into the 80s and even some 90s across the interior west on Sunday as well as on